I, I tried doing this as I was watching some of these intense games and I imagined, well, what would it be like if I didn't care? You know, if I, if I didn't mind, you know, whether, whether England wins the championship or not. What if I don't care? What if it makes absolutely no difference to me? And sort of getting a taste of it, it's almost like a Zen kind of mindset, you know, where you're beyond all concerns uh, and just and kind of like a stoic resolution of just being completely ready to accept anything that is outside my control. And maybe we can use that as some kind of training for life that we can we can Im imagine letting go of that attachment to what's out of our control. If we're able to do that with our favorite sports teams, well, maybe that we can apply some of that to the intense battles in our life. Of course, still fighting intensely for everything we can control, but completely letting go and accepting anything we cannot control. But then on the other hand, I think, well, would sports even be fun? I mean, is, would it be fun if we didn't actually care who wins? I mean, you can sometimes enjoy a game as, as a neutral, um, but it doesn't have the same intensity as when you really get attached to a particular team and ride the roller coaster. So riding the roller co coaster is part of the whole joy of sports fandom. So then does that apply to life as well? Is there an argument to not be stoic, to say, yeah, okay, it's reasonable, it all makes logical sense, but it's more fun to ride the roller coaster and let myself get attached and simply be okay with, you know, sometimes being happy and sometimes being disappointed. So I'd like to hear what you think about this on, on the sports side, is it possible to, you know, have this kind of Zen or stoic sports attitude when following sports? Or uh, on the life side, is, it, is there a case to be made against stoicism that we can kind of have that kind of sports fandom mentality, apply some of that to life and just, just be okay with the roller coaster? And I think that this also applies to things other than sports, like the biggest one being politics, which is a lot like the roller coaster of sports. But with politics, you have that feeling that, oh, you know, you could, you, you, know, you have your vote and you, 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 or you can protest or you can tweet about it. So there's that sense that you can contribute in some small way so it's not completely or near completely passive as it is with watching other men throw a ball or kick it uh, so there's that there's it's harder to just accept that it's entire that it's that it's outside my control because as long as there's that little bit of control that we can have over it then we it, it's hard to give it up as like oh i can just i'm just not i'm just not going to worry about it but when something is almost outside our control and maybe it's debatable how much we should actually invest our emotions in it. But it's not easy to give these things up. I mean, even when, when I was watching the sports and I tried to imagine, what if I didn't care? There's a part of me that was like, wait a minute, you know, you don't know, you got to support your team. What if, you know, it, it's completely illogical, but, uh, you know, when I if I imagine not caring that my favorite team wins, it's almost like there's, it seems like I'm being disloyal or uh, maybe, you know, am I, am I going to let them down and, 
you know, I know I have to help them win. Uh, so my whole idea with this, with these uh, sports, this sports fan mindset is that it, it makes an interesting metaphor for how we view the ups and downs of life. And it kind of reveals something about how we emotionally react to those ups and downs. By seeing how we react to the outcome of a sports event, or possibly politics or some other kind of big event that we're observing, then we can maybe get some idea of how we might apply that in our own lives.